agriculture forest. Um, yeah. And then you had a, a drop with, uh, together with FX Hash for our Basel, right? That, that's a, kind of a group yeah. show that was organized. Um, how was that? How was that experience, Ryan? Because it, it was the first time that you were invited to a show. Is that right? It was the first time? Yeah, the first one was um, Dreamcatcher Forest. And that one yeah. was really yeah. a nightmare in terms of how much intensity I had to put into it to get it done for the deadline. So it was like, really like, all right, we went, we need to do over a thousand outputs, you know, and we love <laughs> how you're great at variety. So we expect you to have, you know, a lot of variety over a thousand editions, you know, and we need this. And it was only two weeks, you know, it's something where like, it wasn't <laughs> enough time to really do what I wanted to do, but I had kind of explored other things. So I was like, okay, I kind of have this um, nature drawing thing I've been playing with. Um, obviously inspired by Zancan, you know, again, there's, there's other, you know, goats involved where you kind of like see these things that you can try to attempt. And then I had fragments. So I was like, okay, I can kind of use fragments as this kind of back scaffolding and then put something on top of it. And then I get something kind of new. So anyway, I get all that done. It actually works. I feel safe about the outputs that it's not going to do something too unexpected one out of a thousand mm -hmm. times, which is a legitimate concern. I deliver that. And then honestly, like three days later, they're like, hey, we actually have a bigger opportunity. Um, this one's going to be with Herbert Frank. But again, we need it in like two weeks. It's going to be like a thousand outputs. What can you do? So Ooh. then um, I had to really reach. And then I pulled out uh, Microgravity. Yeah. And that was based on, I was a huge um, fractal forums guy for years and years. And it was kind of just um, a bunch of experiments and sketches I had played with in kind of the fractal space. But I had never figured out how do you do fractals generatively, meaning if I just pick a random x y coordinate, one out of a thousand times it might be a totally black image, or you know one out of a hundred times it might be a totally white image. How do I control? You know, we need a thousand out of a thousand fractals. So then it kind of got me into this idea of using the computer to detect its own aesthetics. So I would create all these random ones. And then try to read, um, if you compress this, does it compress down to zero? If so, it's a solid color. You know, if it takes a lot of data to compress it, then it's obviously a very, you know, high entropy image. And mm. then you can kind of start to curate things without really knowing what you're doing. Like, I don't have a mathematical proof that lets me generate aesthetic fractals, but I can generate a sample of fractals and then sample those for which ones are likely of being interesting. Yeah. So it's kind of... Um, as you're going along, you're developing your own tools, yeah. but it's uh, always just one interesting problem after the next that has to be solved. Yeah. And, and for, do, for you, Ryan, is that part of the, what you enjoy? You enjoy like coming up with these uh, complex algorithms and solving these problems that you create? Is that something that um, you, are you passionate about that? Because I mean, it must be very complicated, especially with those deadlines that you mentioned at two weeks. Yeah. Um, so I mean, it's probably it's, like working out, like, um, like, do you enjoy the feeling of the resistance? And it's like, uh -huh. admittedly, like hard problems are hard, but I do find that kind of, um, I'm compelled to work on them. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, like I do love working on kind of one interesting problem to the next, but when you're in it, it very much feels like a difficult problem. Yeah. 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 No, that's uh, very exciting. I, I remember those days because, um, I, you know, I was um, on FX Hash and they announced their our Basel collaborations. And then I noticed that you were on, on multiple, right? You were on both of, of those collaborations. So I said, wow, how, how can Ryan create um, these, uh, again, high quality collections in such a short period of time? And, and they are very different from each other. So that was, uh, I mean, super yeah. impressive. Yeah, and I definitely had some code that I had been playing with for years and years and years yeah. but it had it had never really seen the light because again it was kind of like well who, who are you going to show these fractals to and yeah. then it was like ah this is the perfect spot where if i just find a way to curate the output to control it then i can really use this as like an engine for different things and it yeah. was cool so then again okay let's say you solve that now the problem was that it took way too long to generate a fractal so then i had to explore mm -hmm. can i use web workers to do this in parallel such that it draws something like a, a row of, you know, 10 pixels at a time, but it's just, it's more and more things you have to kind of solve the deeper you get. That's kind of fun. Yeah, exactly. Like the optimization problem, right? And the speed and, and the rendering. Yes. Actually optimized. Yeah. It doesn't break. People care. Phone. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's no, like, that's... even if it, 
it just makes the image people still care about you know but how long did it take to make the image which is kind of funny and not there with traditional art 